Ah! That's me shrieking. Hi, welcome back to another toy review. While I'm here in Panto Land in Lincoln, I thought I would continue my little journey of uh, getting some of these No Way Home figures, specifically Strange and uh, Black and Gold Spider-Man and Gamerverse Miles Morales, and continue to get the pieces of the armadillo by grabbing one of Carnage's crew, Carnage's former lover, um, and most recently in comics, sacrificed uh, it, it, to raise a new Demogoblin. So she's dead now in the comics, but that means jack shit in comics. Shriek! Marvel Shriek! There she is. You 90s Marvel fans will be off your tits now. We've got Demogoblin Builder figure. We've got um, a Doppelganger. We've got Carnage. All the Maximum Carnage team are coming out to play. She did Carrion now. Oh, I just did Carrion. Anyway, Marvel Shriek uh, Legends packaging as is. Lovely illustration of a red-headed Shriek there on the side. Less face paint, which is in a signature costume. So it looks more like the Black Widow. It's been the Photoshop Black Widow. Francis Louise Barrison, aka Shriek, escapes from Cat Captivity. Escapes from captivity and forms a twisted family with like-minded villains to terrorize Spider-Man. Yeah, so some Carnage symbiote action in the background behind her there. Of course, she's part of the wave to build Armadillo, uh, which includes integrated suit Spider-Man, no builder figure part, he's just part of the wave, black and gold Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, J. Jonah Jameson, Game of Miles Morales, comic book Morloon, and comic book Shriek. Um, this is kind of cool. Obviously, if anyone here was a fan of Venom, let there be Carnage. To see Shriek get a updated Marvel Legends figure is quite cool. And I can't wait to have a little look at her, so let's get her out of the box about it. She's jumping for joy, but mostly so I can show you the articulation in an easier way. So, Shriek comes with articulated ankles that whoop, pivot from side to side and also move backwards and forwards. A double knee joint and a sculpt that actually looks really good with the bent knee. It doesn't look too jarring or, you know, too toy. It's like, yeah, that's a, that is a bent knee. Swivel at the top of the thigh. Uh, motion in the crotch. No waist articulation. Ribs slash sort of under the uh, under the breast area. Has a crunch. There is a pretty good uh, sort of ball jointed shoulder. Nice rotation at the top of the arm. In something that is becoming a little more common, uh, and hopefully will be in more of the designs going forward, female figure with a double elbow joint. A double elbow joint on a female figure, and it doesn't look weird, making you wonder why they've not done it before. That looks amazing. The flexibility that offers is nuts. It's about time. Uh, and her head is on a peg joint, back and forth. You can just about see the peg up there. But because of her sculpted hair, the head is kind of uh, limited somewhat in its movements, but that's fine. Let's stand Shriek up and look. Ooh, stiff knee joint. Please be careful. Don't snap it. Would like for her to not die. That would suck. I mean, she's dead in the comics, but you know what I mean. Um, let us take a little peeky peeky peek peek at Shrieky Shrieky Shriek Shrieks. Finer details. Da -da -da. Stand up Shriek. Do me a favour. She's quite petite. She's got a wonderfully petite stature. She's going to look... Uh, Fairly short against other figures. I can't really measure up against any others because the only other standing adult figure I have with me currently is MCU Pete, and he is quite short. So doesn't really give me a great comparison here. If I was back home, I'd stand her up next to a Spider-Man or Carnage, but what have you. So, uh, no sort of specific costume detail except for the usual, you know, boot ripple uh, down there. She's got a loose belt piece that is made of a slightly softer plastic so it can bend and mesh. It rests really nicely on the figure's hips and buttocks. It's very Black Widow-esque in its design. Uh, her right hand comes with the fuzzy black paint swatch at the bottom of the glove slash skin. Uh, no detailing on the back that's too visible. The zigzag costume elements are underneath her sculpted hair, which again is, if we can get it to stand up. Thank you which again is really nice, very stylized, all pointy and scraggly. Uh, her left gloves uh, slash hands are always pure white. 
She has a little sort of grey to translucent bracelet. So when you're changing left hands over, please be careful not to lose that. Uh, the white detailing on the front of the costume is really nice. There's only a tiny bit of paint um, chipping for the black coming through the white there. Uh, and the white glove going up that way. And the head sculpt is so cool. Paint her eyes a little wibbly on mine, but the uh, the black chin, the, the uh, sort of domino, domino, diamond around the eyes. A great expression. That's I, I mean, I don't know who it's ba whose work it's based on. That is a very Mark Bagley-esque face. Like that looks like a very Mark Bagley-esque expression. It, it is... Oh, it is very... In fact, it's so Mark Bagley that you could probably repaint... Sorry, the camera's moving. It's zoomed in, and the moment I shift my arm slightly, it falls over. Um, you could probably repaint this as an ultimate Spider-Man Mary Jane if you really wanted to. That's actually really not a bad idea. That, that's, that's Ultimate Mary Jane if you repaint that. Oh, that's really good. I hadn't thought that before. There's an idea for some commissioners. If you do it and happen to go through with it, let me know because I'd love to see the results. Um, yep, she has a fairly uh, petite stature. It's sort of a fairly standard female body for the smaller lady characters in the Marvel Universe uh, Marvel Legends line. She comes with four accessories for herself, which are two additional pairs of hands, the colours of which correspond with the sides of her costume. So the right hand has the black spiky part on the wrist, and the left one is completely white. So she has balled up fists for a punchin. She has two accessory gripping hands. She doesn't come with any accessories, but you know, if you want to give her weapons or what have you, you've got the option. Um, it be I think a spare head would have been cool to have her, you know, shrieking. But as far as like posing with the rest of her gang, this is a really really nice sculpt. And she comes with two pieces of the armadillo figure. She comes with the shoulder pads, which are a little too big for Shriek herself. That's that's the back of armadillo. And she comes with his main torso, which is almost as big as she is. Uh, which, I mean, I, I wouldn't be surprised if this was a reuse of something like an Abomination figure, maybe. Uh, or a Hulk. Except, obviously, for the abdomen. But, yeah. The shoulder, pad, shoulder pads are going there. Um, I really like this figure. I like it a lot. It's straightforward. It's simple. And she's going to be great for posing. For example, look at Spider-Man. She's coming for you, boy. This is a really out of focus figure. <laughs> this is a really, really cool figure. I'm, I am so happy with this one. She looks so cool. So if you're a big old '90s fan and you're looking to expand your Spider-Man villain roster from the '90s, you can't really go wrong with Shriek. She looks amazing. If you've got any version of Carnage, stick it in next to Carnage. Onto a winner. What do you think of Shriek? Do you like the figure? Do you think it's pretty cool? I love it. I think she's amazing. Um, if you do, let me know down in the comments below. If you want to help me buy some tithe to review, you can go to my Amazon wishlist, which is in the description. Pick me up something. Of course, I'll give you a shout out. No obligation, of course. You can just wait for me to post toy reviews as and when I do. But if you want to help us out, I'm not going to say no to a, to a freebie. Um, you can also help me out by liking the video and um, commenting, favoriting, all that good stuff. I will see you again soon for the second to last figure in the Armadillo build figure assortment. And then the search for the White Whale begins. Will I find a J. Jonah Jameson?